G'day Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome back to another video here on my channel. It's been quite some time since I've uploaded and oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. I haven't really been keeping you guys in the loop as usual and I have a lot of changes that will be happening to the channel. I don't really want to talk about them a ton in this video because I feel like that wouldn't be necessarily like that has nothing to do with the content in this video so I just wanted to keep it short and sweet for you guys and just say hey I miss you guys and I am going to be coming back to weekly uploads I don't think I'm ever going to get around to daily but I definitely want to get back to weekly uploads for you guys because I just miss making content and just chatting with you guys in the comments so i'm excited to see some of you guys down below afterwards so yeah um anyways today's build is going to be a house of four seasons in one so this is kind of inspired by your average american house plus a Melbourneian kind of side to it, I guess, because, you know, Melbourne, we are known for, for our four seasons in one day kind of weather because it's pretty erratic over here. But um, yeah, I just thought with the new uh, seasons game pack, expansion pack, sorry, that is coming out and basically is out, um, I wanted to do a cute little build to just show how excited I am for it to be finally out, I swear everyone's been waiting for seasons for the last four years. So very, very exciting. And I really wanted to create a little house that portrayed all four seasons within it. So downstairs, we have four different sections of the house, which are all in a different season's theme. So it's a lot of fun. And I also used a lot of custom content when it comes to windows and doors and slidings. You guys can go on over to my Tumblr and you can find all of the custom content links to stuff like that um, over there. I have it in my, I believe it's CC Basics page. So you just like hover over, I think it might be the Love Heart or the Star icon on there but if you just go on over to my tumblr you should be able to find it the windows are by peacemaker and i think though the slidings that i use later on to make it super colorful i think they're by noodle cc but i may be wrong about that i'm pretty sure i do link them on my tumblr but uh yeah i hope you guys don't have too much trouble finding those i know you're always asking me where i find my cc and now that i have my tumblr all set up you guys have a spot you have a website where it's all congregated and just put together for you guys to find everything hopefully easy enough if you have any questions just let me know down below um but yeah first up we are working on the kitchen so this is actually a really big kitchen i've been building tiny homes and micro apartments for so long now that it just felt really weird to make a big kitchen and I kind of didn't know how to do it anymore. So I did a little bit off camera playing around with the feel of the room. Uh, while when I do look at other people's builds, I'm like, whoa, their houses are like way bigger than mine. I just swear, like, I'm just so used to making tiny houses now that it's just not natural for me to go any bigger. And when I think about it, going back to the whole Melbourne thing, uh, I was driving around with my boyfriend before because he does Uber and uh, I just tag along sometimes and I actually have been doing that a lot lately because I just get to do some sight singing, seeing and stuff and anyways today we were just like talking about the houses and sort of how simple but also ornate uh, the houses are here in Melbourne like everyone has such tiny houses but they're they aren't exactly tiny I think it's the plots of land are very tiny but then they really try to shove in the, like as big of a house as they can on this small plot of land uh, because you know it is a city so it's very squeezy and I'm sure it's like that in other cities too but I just find it really interesting I love how Melbourne does it. it's very different and unique to the other cities here in Australia I believe 
Sydney is a little bit similar, but Melbourne is definitely pretty unique. And if you guys ever get to visit, you'll know exactly what I mean. So when I was building on the inside here, I was kind of just like imagining a Melbourneian house. So sort of the whole outlay of it. Not sure if houses are outlaid like this in the rest of the world. I'm pretty ignorant to that. I'm sure they're probably the same or very similar. You know, we just have the kitchen, the dining room here connected. We also have a little island there with two little stools. And uh, that is our winter part of the house. So I do think I do a winter style bedroom upstairs because we had three bedrooms and two bathrooms in this house. The bathrooms, I just tried to make them like a neutral kind of mintish tone. And I did three of the bedrooms in uh, seasons. And then I think I did the hallway in autumn or something like that to kind of make up for there not being a fourth bedroom. Um, but yeah, so I really, really like how I've done winter. Later on, I do add in some of those little decorations that are, I think they're like little hanging snowflakes. And I can't remember what they are. I think they're like a holiday decoration. At this moment of recording, guys, I forgot to mention this, but I recorded this footage probably like two weeks ago uh, when I was like, freaking out about uh seasons coming out I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh I have this great idea let's make a house with four seasons in one and yeah I didn't have seasons installed so in this house if you guys don't have seasons but you want to enjoy all of the season fun you can go ahead and download this one I use just about every single other pack there is in the game though but if you don't have seasons or you're not able to you could definitely be able to possibly download this one and have it in your game if you just want to join in with all of that fun but definitely guys in my next video I will be playing around with seasons I'm sadly not going to be doing a let's play though I'm going to put out another video talking about me and let's plays not the best uh but real quick because I actually am in love with my new LP the modded one but it's going to change very slightly it's just I don't want to freak any of you guys out about that because I know a lot of you guys actually do like it uh, it is going to stick around but it's more going to be a weekly series where I do mod showcases and that means that instead of me just playing out the mods uh, one mod like say Road to Fame over a couple episodes what I'll do is have a recording session over uh, maybe a day or a two and and then I'll edit all of that footage and try to put it into a nice little 30 minute video <laughs> I'm like little as if like a 30 minutes little like this video is super long too but uh, I feel like I'm going back towards doing long videos so I, go I hope you guys don't mind but um yeah, I, I like the idea of more doing a video where I'm properly kind of showcasing the mods and really showing them off because I just felt like I wasn't doing that enough and you guys weren't really getting the whole feel of the mods and I, I don't want to really feel like a noob, you know, when I'm showing showing them to you guys and I've just said show a thousand times and my kitty is asking for her dinner in the background oh my gosh anyways we are on to the summer room so I kind of did this house weird and backwards and all over the place so we started off with the winter we finished basically the autumn room that was the one with the fireplace in it no idea why I did winter as the kitchen, you know, the kitchen is usually one of the coldest parts of the household. And I guess, I guess that fits, you know, you got the tiles on the ground. You got to have your slippers or socks on or your toes are going to freeze. So I guess that does work out pretty well for winter. And then in the autumn room, I made sure to have lots of warm little rugs around. And it's got a fireplace because you want to feel all cozy as it's starting to get frosty outside. Uh, but yeah, I really like how warm and inviting the autumn room looks. Now that we're working on the summer room, really like what I did with the TV cabinet there. 
but I, I just made it really, really, really sunny and kind of tropical too. I kind of go with the yellows, oranges and blues in here and lots of plants and flowers. So it's very bright and friendly and definitely summer. Summer is my favorite season of the year. What is you guys' favorite season? So many people hate summer and I'm like, how? How can you hate summer? Maybe it's because I grew up in a cold part of Australia and I don't know why I moved to Melbourne because it's even colder down here. I've been freezing right now. It is winter and oh my gosh, guys, I don't think I would survive without my electric blanket because... Man, it gets so cold here and because my new apartment, well, I've been here for like six months now, but uh, because this apartment is on the bottom floor and it's a really old building, hardly any of the sun really reaches one side of the building and it just gets really, really cold in here. So luckily we do have an air con which is positioned really well where it can like warm up the whole house. Um, because that's sort of been a lifesaver, that and the electric blankets. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I've been really, really rugged up lately because it is just so, so cold here in Melbourne. I'm really, really jealous of you guys there in America and the UK, everyone who's in summer right now. Oh man, and you guys are on holidays too, aren't you? I have no idea how holidays work anymore, but yeah, let me know what you guys are up to uh, for your holidays, for your summer holidays, and I will just try to uh, live through your comments <laughs> while I shiver away here in Down Under. <laughs> All right, well, uh, now I'm working on the spring room. So this is actually a sunroom and I didn't want to make the sunroom to be a summer room because I thought that'd be a little bit too cliche. And I really like the idea of the sunroom having a lot of pot plants in it. And here in Australia, a lot of people do have sunrooms. In the house that I grew up in, we had a sunroom and it was painted uh, kind of a minty green, but over time it turned more and more bluish, the walls. But my mum used to have a lot of pot plants and stuff in there when I was younger. So yeah, I, I just feel like sunrooms really remind me of spring. So I thought it would be absolutely perfect to do that. So now we're done on the bottom floor. Oh my gosh. And we are going to be coloring the outside. So I've of course used custom content to do this because we do not have vibrant rainbow colors like this in The Sims 4. I wish we did, but we don't. And the cool thing about these slidings is that I believe they are just recolors. So they are Maxis Match. And if you guys want to download these, I have them linked on my Tumblr page. And I think I said that already at the beginning of the video somewhere, but yeah, you guys can find all of the windows, the doors, and the colorful slidings that I use in this video over there. The link will be down below. I really like this different sort of thing that I did with the roof here. I also added these three little gables to kind of represent um, some of the seasons. So we have four main gables. So I have like green for spring, uh, then we have yellow for summer, red for autumn, and then blue for winter. Oh my gosh, I just had a brain fart. But yeah, I really, really like the simple facade of the home. And it kind of is inspired by a house that's around the corner. Although it isn't rainbow, it's actually a yellow house. And uh, it's not two story but uh, the way that it has the little rounded room next to the front door really reminds me of that house that I am always eyeing. And it's just so adorable. I just really like the architecture. In the suburb that I've moved to here in Melbourne, it's really like lots of old buildings, lots of old houses that have been renovated. And I just love going for walks around here. It's just so nice to see how people uh, renovated their houses and Oh man, their gardens are so beautiful. Lots of people have roses that are flourishing right now and they're blooming. And I took a really pretty picture of some flowers the other day 
And oh my gosh, it's so weird because like it's winter, but then there's so many winter flowers because, you know, roses are just absolutely stunning. And um, for some, I don't even know. I didn't know that roses bloomed in winter, but for some reason, a lot of people's down here in Melbourne, their, their gardens are going off. They are lit right now. Um, yeah, so now we're connecting the side front balcony with the backyard. And I just kind of went with a simple uh, exterior to the house and like the garden and stuff. It's very simple and straightforward. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot of building on my channel, so I really wanted to come back with something simple and really, you know, back to my roots, the house that I very, very first uploaded, like the house building video that I uploaded onto my channel a long time ago was very similar to this style where we have uh, one side is very rectangular and then the other side is a little bit more ornate and it has a lot of verandas and stuff. It's really like the style of houses that I adore and I really really want to live in one day when I grow up oh my gosh I am a grown-up I should stop saying that <laughs> here in the backyard we have a back patio or veranda and there is a barbecue we got a little sitting area here made everything really bright and summery because it looks over the pool and I just like the idea of it feeling um, like it is summer and you could definitely host some barbecues, some pool parties out the back here. It's just going to be really, really awesome. And I guess in a way I was more inspired by some of the houses and resorts that uh, you would see in the Gold Coast up in Queensland, Australia. So we have a rock formation here that has a waterfall and most pools have a waterfall nowadays. So here in Australia anyways, and I really, really have always wanted a pool with a waterfall. Like, isn't that the dream? Like, that is that is just goals right there. And then you could sit by the waterfall. Or, like, when you're in certain parts of your house, you could hear the water trickling. I just think that's just such a tranquil, uh, like, aspect to a house, like, addition to a house. So... Yeah, I really like how I added all of the plants around the rocks and stuff and it just looks super duper tropical and just really, really like Gold Coast themed out here and I really like it. Um, but yeah, so lots of plants and I even put in palm trees, which you wouldn't think would suit the front of the house, but like literally you go into another state when you go out the back. It's just totally different, very tropical. And I use a jungle adventure watercolor. So that's a little bit more different. It looks like it sort of has some sort of, I don't know, something added to the water to be that color. Anyways, I just want to talk a little bit more about seasons because I do realize at the time of me recording this and uploading this video that a lot of you guys are probably watching other people's videos that have the actual seasons expansion installed and I know I'm so weird I don't know why I didn't upload this video earlier like when I first recorded it I've just been so up in the air and I'm sure like I talked a little bit about this before but like I just I don't know. For some reason, YouTube and Twitch and stuff has just been feeling really off for me lately. And recently with all of the tweets and stuff that the YT creators have been saying how they're going to be adding the memberships and they're also going, oh, there goes my phone, um, how they're going to be adding um, the memberships and they're going to be adding like Teespring, like merch connected onto your YouTube account and stuff. It just feels like uh, YouTube care about their creators again or they're trying to help their creators and be a little bit more transparent with everything. So yeah, that's really motivated me and I'd have to, I have to say that uh, last year when the adpocalypse really hit my channel, I haven't bounced back. Like it's literally been eight months of me moping around, not knowing how to get my channel back to where it was this time last year. So yeah, it's been really, really rough for me, but I feel like I'm finally, like I have a little bit more confidence in myself again. And I really do miss talking to you guys too, because, you know, when I 
read you guys' comments and I'm interacting with you guys. You guys really get me pumped to make content and you also, uh, yeah, you, you give me confidence. So you let me know that what I'm doing is cool and you like it and stuff and or you tell me that you don't like it and I try to do better. But I don't think you guys know how much you your interactions actually mean to me and I, I don't even think I knew because like when I'm having my missing in action phases I always feel so depressed and when I come back and I'm talking with you guys I automatically feel like on top of the world and I feel like I can achieve anything it's just all of you guys' positive vibes just affecting me totally and yeah, thank you so much guys for just dealing with me a mess and just all over the place. I'm a little bit like the seasons here in Melbourne, Australia, where like you'll you'll go outside hoping and praying that it's not going to rain or you'll be like sunny out and then all of a sudden it's going to rain. That's sort of what the four seasons in one day. It's very erratic weather here at times and I definitely feel like that is the climate of my life. I've been just all over the place and oh man, I am going to get back on track eventually and <laughs> you guys are just being on this roller coaster ride with me and I just want to be more transparent, you know, like maybe when I'm having these, I guess, episodes of just like not knowing what to do next, maybe I should just talk to you guys more about it because like um, it's just something like how... I grew up, I just am not a very open person. Like I will be to my close friends, but if I have a problem, I'm so stubborn. I literally will just like, I don't want to ask for help. I'll just like hide away and suffer in silence. <laughs> it's so such a bad habit and I really am trying to get out of it and I'm starting to realize that people do care about me and they do want to help me and I just need to say, hey, I, I need some help. And that goes for you guys too. If you are feeling uneasy or something's a little bit too overwhelming for you, like school or something, teachers, family, friends, they're all there and they all care about you. No matter how terrible your thoughts are telling you, um, like if they're, if your thoughts are really negative and stuff, just realize that your thoughts are 10 times or a hundred times worse than reality actually is. Um, well, that's how I've really figured things out. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope your summer or winter is going well too because uh, mine has been miserable so far, but it's getting better. I can't wait for spring. Spring, where are you already? Because I am so over this cold weather. <laughs> So you guys have seen us finish a spring bedroom. Now we're working on the winter one. And in the corridor there, we have a autumn themed corridor. And it's so, so colorful. I love every aspect of this house. And that's why even though everybody else is uploading season stuff, I still wanted to upload this because I really, really adore this home. And if you guys would like to see me recreate or make a different four seasons in one house but with the actual seasons expansion pack let me know should I do that like that sounds so tempting because I had so much fun making this house like that's why this video is so long because I put so many hours into this I just like every single room I really like put heart my heart and soul into it because I just really really enjoy um, everything to do with like the whole seasons theme and I was just so excited too and even though I feel so silly for uploading this really late I just I'm really proud of it so I hope you guys don't mind um but yeah now we're working on the summer room now this is probably my least favorite out of the rooms because I tried to use a different rug than I usually use I don't think I've ever used that rug before but you know it looks different it's a little bit quirky and uh it's got geometric shapes on it and uh, everything's just super Super aqua and yellow in here. We got contrasting colors, and it just feels really fun and summery, which I think is 
what summer is all about. We have a whole bunch of shades down because, you know, you don't want to let all of the heat into the home when it's summer. And yeah, if you leave all of the windows open in summer, it's going to get so unbearably hot inside that you won't be able to sleep. So they definitely have all of those blinds down. And if you guys notice that in the other rooms that have the other seasons, I tried to do the blinds or the curtains in different styles to do it with how I think the weather would be. So uh, obviously in spring, we just have very light curtains. And then in winter, we have like heavy drapes. And then in the summer rooms, we have just some simple blinds and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so the summer room is coming all together. I like that I added in those aqua walls. Now I'm just finishing up the last bathroom. So the bathrooms, as I was saying earlier, are just very simple, mint and neutral. They're not really meant to be any of the seasons or anything like that. They're just meant to be kind of there, you know. And I like that I made them matching too because I kind of like the whole idea of matching bathrooms. Some people really get creative and and will make totally different bathrooms in different sections of their houses. But in my realistic brain for The Sims 4, I would think that you would buy all of your tiles in bulk. So then it's cheaper, meaning your bathrooms would be kind of similar. But then again, this is The Sims and you can do whatever you like. You could have a different themed bathroom in each section of the house if you really really wanted to so that is the power of the sims uh actually that would be so cool if you had like a sci-fi themed bathroom and then another part of the house you had like a tropical super like like maybe you even had like a waterfall going into the bath or you had like plants and vines going down from a skylight. Oh my gosh, I'm just like thinking of so many cool ideas now. But hey, we are up to the end of the video. Here are all of the screenshots, guys. I hope you enjoyed this super duper long video. I know. <laughs> the videos are only going to get longer from here on, guys. So buckle up and yeah, that's going to be my channel from now on. I think I've pretty much straight away from doing 10 minute videos. Um, but yeah guys, hopefully I will have another video explaining more about the changes that are going to be happening to my channel very, very soon in more detail because I know I didn't really say much today about it. Um, but yeah, if you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. The code word for today's video is going to be climate because nothing about this video has to do about climate, but I'm really, really excited about seasons. So why not comment down below the word climate and for the first day that this video is up, I will be favoriting all of your comments using that word. Alrighty guys, well I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you all to bits and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!